The FUD storm, the fear, uncertainty, and doubt a storm is literally a but it has begun, actually. SEC to appeal judge ruling that Ripple XRP is not a security. But wait a minute. This is false. Literally false. The reason why people are now talking about they're going after the um whether XRP is a security or not is because this just happened, but that's entirely false, guys. We're going to um break the spell in today's video. Listen very carefully. Breaking, so we got an update. As soon as I posted my video, guys, um, my recent, my previous video, SEC files letter outlining its basis for filing a motion for, for leave to file an uh, interlocutory appeal regarding programmatic offers and sales to XRP buyers over trading platforms and Ripple's other distributions, right? So I don't know how they're talking about if whether XRP is a security or not, guys, through this statement right here, right? The SEC is going to lose again to Ripple since it's clear now, now that XRP is not a security. But if we go all the way down here. So you're telling me that you're telling me that a judge with impeccable record and nine months of careful deliberating, deliberating and writing her decision is going to decide she got it wrong and send it up to Second Circuit. Since this is a request, can the judge deny the request, guys, right? Because, correct, Judge Torres can say no to the appeal if she wants to. Mic drop. Right, so what's really going to take place here? From Sir Aldo Rodi, Chief Legal Officer at Ripple. The SEC does not have the right to appeal just yet, which is why they are asking permission to file an interlocutory appeal. Right, so they need permission first, guys. Um, they need to get approved. Ripple will file its re uh, its response with the court next week. Stay tuned. Again, so it seems like Ripple has a deadline of a week or so. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not a judge, guys. Right? Most definitely not. Well, I mean, I mean, I'm not a lawyer, guys. <laughs> I'm not a lawyer. So it's crazy how I, I find it. I find it very intriguing because throughout this uh, Ripple journey, guys, right? XRP journey. When they got sued. When Ripple got sued. Supposedly, the XRP community are all becoming lawyers at this point, right? Um, so Ripple basically has a week to file their response right here, and they will, it seems, as next week with the court. So stay tuned, guys, right? Again, guys, look at the de uh, demeanor of um, Stuart right there, so out of the road, because anyone else notice that Ripple's top lawyer feels confident and calm about the SEC's appeal, right? Um, or permission to appeal right here So again a lot of people are talking guys, but there's a lot of FUD coming out and about as well We're going to dispel it all guys in today's video from attorney Jeremy and the SEC continues making questionable decisions, right? Again, these are weird decisions guys. So why is this all happening in the first place is a real question, right? No settlements maybe soon. I don't know guys, but Maybe a delay me me mechanism requesting an interlocutory appeal note that this is not appealing whether XRP is, is itself is a security, right? Note, this is not appealing whether XRP itself is a security. Just its losses on the pro uh, programmatic and individual sales issues. There you guys go, right? So, the Taurus ruling on XRP programmatic sales is what led, uh, led to XRP being a non-security and cryptocurrency exchanges relisting XRP. Isn't it challenging programmatic sales and functional equivalent of challenging the non-security status of XRP? Two separate issues. XRP is not a security, period. Right? But if the SEC wins the appeal on sales, then Ripple couldn't use exchanges to facilitate sales. And the big question is, would exchanges keep XRP listed? I think yes, guys. There you guys go. As long as they can verify the sales are not being made by Ripple. Wow, guys, right? So, again, the Judge Torres can literally just say no, guys, right, to hearing the appeal. Correct. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine the SEC gets shut down, guys. That's just, that's just hilarious if that uh, occurs. But, again, the FUD storm is just, here comes the big, guys. Next few days, watch out, watch out from these Bitcoin maximums, okay? Because this is what they're going to say. Breaking SEC to appeal judge ruling that Ripple XRP is not a security, right? So this is this this is what's going to come out out of the um Bitcoin maximalist, Ethereum maximalist mouths, guys. They're going to say that now 
the SEC to appeal whether XRP is a security or not. But this is false. This is just ridiculous in the first place. But second of all, it's false, guys. Right? Wrong. And here comes the um, XRP army. Try to um, fight the FUD. Right? Now, if we go back here, though. I mean, if you go to the next week from uh, BC Backer, no, they are not, right? Exactly. They are appealing the programmatic sales by Ripple. So within the next few days, guys, or maybe even weeks, I don't know, we just have to keep fighting the FUD, right? Uh, not the security status of XRP itself. Why? Because XRP is not a security and that cannot be appealed, guys, right? So they're just losing steam, guys, right? The... um. The, all the all the XRP haters are just trying to grasp any type of narrative possible to attack XRP with it. But they're losing, guys, most definitely. I mean, they already have lost. They can't appeal whether XRP itself is a security or not. XRP's non-security status cannot be appealed. Already seeing lots of Bitcoin Maxi spreading this narrative. Good luck with that, guys. Right there you guys go. So it's looking really good for XRP most definitely. Now, message to XRP Army. Quote, they're asking for an appeal on the programmatic sales of XRP, not if XRP is a security or not. That has been decided and cannot and can't be appealed because it's not part of the summary judgment. End quote. Now, Joe, uh, John Dow, guys, there you guys go. Right. Wow. Judge rules uh, Ripple's XRP programmatic sales, not securities. XRP up uh, 20, 28%. This was on July 13th, guys, right? Though institutional sales could meet that definition because of the Orange Grove's uh, example, guys, right? Which we learned about. If you if you sign that contract and, 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 you, and there's promises being made at that point, guys, right? For profits and whatnot, then it's most definitely a security. But... If it's the other way around, guys, and there's no promises, then it can't be a security. Neither, uh, never the, uh, never the less, guys. How can code be a security in the first place? It can't. You know, you say SEC. So I just wanted to read this um article because I wanted to see what Watchguru, um, or his team put out. You know, you SEC will appeal judge ruling that Ripple XRP isn't a security. If you go down here. The court ruling last month favored in Ripple of uh, favor of Ripple Lab, stating that XRP was not a security. This was a major win for the uh, crypto world at that time. Many in the realm assumed that there would be an appeal. Now the SEC has made their appeal of the decision official. Specifically, the SEC seeks to certify the court's holding that defendants' programmatic offers and sales to XRP buyers over crypto asset trading platforms and Ripple's other distributions in exchange for uh, labor and services did not involve the offer or sale of securities under under SEC. So the SEC appeal of the Ripple XRP decision proposes a briefing on the appeal be held by August 18th, 2023. So we're, wow, this, this headline is definitely misleading guys, right? Crazy. I bet it took almost a month for the SEC to file intent for an interlocutory appeal, uh, simply because of how hard it would be to make some uh, to make up some fake argument to, to why it should to why it should be approved. Remember, Taurus would have to approve it as well, guys. Right? Wow. Biggest joke from the SEC's letter of intent to file the appeal is right here, as you guys can see. The SEC seeks the expedient and efficient ultimate resolution of this litigation and has thus proposed a briefing schedule that will permit the court to swiftly rule on its proposed motion. Delay tactics, as you guys can see, right? Always remember, 2024 will not occur, right? So if this gets dragged on, it's going to get dragged on till 2025 or it has to end this year interesting isn't that from mr pool what the sec versus Ripple lawsuit is really about Re uh, remove the friction remove the revenue open up new uh, open up for c new competition lower the barriers of entry ganser ganser is a wall street puppet as you guys can see right here right 
but I believe it's a it's a it's a whole blown show, guys. Can't minimize Judge Torres's ruling over XRP not being a security check to sell, guys. Good guys one, bad guys zero. All the nonsense out there where everybody is acting like the Torres decision uh, somehow has been minimized, okay, or trivialized because of the Rakoff decision. And and the the great thing to me, the great irony is that some of these people, right? We know people like Joe Lubin and others. They supported this case against Ripple and they supported the case against XRP. Those people called XRP a security. They tweeted it out. They celebrated it. They were like XRP holders. They laughed at us. They said we're going to lose and. Be careful what you celebrate, support, and ask for. Because according to her decision, all those people that bought ETH or bought other tokens who are venture capitalists, who are purchasing those tokens at that token factory, for example, all of those under the law constitute illegal securities according to the Torres ruling. So be careful what you ask for. And what ended up happening is good guys one, bad guys zero. Next. There you guys go. Right, so so much fun has been taking place around the scene, but we're here to dispel it all. The SEC's fighting Ripple. To its own death only to protect the biggest fraud in history which connects to ethereum last but not least xrp is not a security for a long time price movement zero sec files appeal price movement three cents exactly right it's dumping because of the fud right here at what point do you realize the game is set for you to lose exactly guys right the winning the winning move is not to play but not financial advice you always have a choice in this matter not financial risk, not financial risk, not financial risk. So let's see what happens in the future, guys. But things are moving very swiftly. At least things are moving, right? There you guys go. Not financial risk. But anyways, that's what we're amazing. See ya.